Hey, it's the Fact Freak. Oh my goodness, another day with some Sasha Fontaine evil Bond villain bullshit. Oh, yeah, it is. It is, honestly, honestly. Oh, could you could you pass me that glass of... <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, honestly. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Hey, would you believe it? There's about 20 people in the room. Frank, Jeff, Sandra. Oh my God, there's Tom. Hey, oh, pass me the popcorn. So yeah, I am going to respond to a video that has been made about me today by somebody who calls themselves Sam Payne 2412, uh, which I'm guessing she's one of these people who is stupid enough to put a full name on TikTok, which is why she has a little remark about that later on. Anyway, let's break down this full video. It's an interesting one, honestly. Yeah, normally, no. I want to talk to you about bullying. Now, we can all agree that obviously bullying is something that should be talked about more, so let's see what insight she has. Now, you might not like my fringe. That's your opinion. No. Nothing wrong with that fringe, it hides your forehead. I don't like my hair. You might not like my accent. I come from the Midlands. I can't help that. I can tell you I don't sit on the sofa all day. I just assume that people have accused her of sitting on the sofa all day, like, and she is obviously triggered by this because she put up a video literally trying to confirm it. Christ. I don't. I do work 40 hours a week. When people try and find out where I live, or... Th I don't think people have to try and find out where you live. You literally have your full name on your profile. It's not difficult. I mean, have you used Google? I work for or work with the now I will say that that is absolutely ridiculous nobody deserves to be threatened or have their personal life brought into it unless you're doing something vile you know like you know a, a sex offender or so, you know some, something like that something that needs intervention they're going to ring them up and say stuff that's not nice that's stalking the law actually doesn't define it as stalking uh, because any information that can be found through legal means um, is, you know, totally fine. So if you put your name out there, for example, and people can then look on Google, find your Facebook, on the Facebook, it's public, you've said where you work. This is all legal means, there's no deception there. This is something that I often do videos about, encouraging people to protect their identities online. I've got a friend. He's got a small business. And it seems to upset. It's just Sasha Fontaine. Why didn't you just say it? Certain people. And they bully. And they bully. And they bully. Then a whole group of them get together. And they decide to bully this person's friends. To try and make this friend not have any friends at all. I mean, this all sounds like schoolyard bullshit. I mean, if you have actually watched my deep dive, which judging by all the wrong information you give further on in this video, you haven't. Um, this is this is just tit for tat crap, really. I don't entertain myself. I don't understand why people do this because they're so into- Because people don't like them. Like, it's just that simple. I'm sorry. Oh, but we've got to out them because they're bullied. No. It yeah, people feel the need to out horrible people. Yeah, I totally agree with that. When somebody's going around saying they're a positive, bubbly person, I don't like drama, I hate drama. And then they're wishing, I wish every day, I wish every day that something horrible would happen to her family. Yeah, people need to know who people really are. Got one person, one person, and about twenty other people attacking one person. Now, yeah, but that one person is a social media, uh, you know, like creator or whatever, like myself, that put themselves out there. They are likely to connect with more than twenty people. I mean, she has over seven thousand followers. The last time I looked, um, and you know, seven thousand to twenty, you do the math. Now I'm sure was in school and they were getting bullied by 20 people 
via social Okay, this is really like out there in a comparison. Um, a child getting bullied by 20 people in a schoolyard is completely different to, you know, did that child stand up on a box in the middle of the schoolyard, tell everybody that he was something, then said it wasn't. And then those 20 people said, you're a liar. That's not bullying. Media, you'd have something to say about it, but you sit there and you do it and you're doing it to one person and then you've got somebody on uh i've explained already why it's that one person she's put herself out there she has contradicted herself she's been held together she's been held to sort of like the things that she's done by less than five percent of her followers tiktok social media instagram whatever you like to call it um it's social media and those are names of social media platforms, sorry. That's just funny. Do you think she watched this back before posting it or did she just think it was pure gold? I can hell. Fact freaks. Hey. <laughs> well. Hey. <laughs> sorry. I've watched him destroy quite a lot of people and it's not nice. It really is not nice. You have issues with- Okay, one second, right? Have you? Have you seen me expose Mark Feely, a registered sex offender? Have you seen me raise awareness to Lucy Rose, uh, you know, Brian Rose, people who groom minors on the internet? Have you seen me raise awareness to people? Have you seen me expose people like Jordan Wheeler, who's currently got a sentence because he's having an imitation firearm for the second time? I don't think you actually know what I do on TikTok. Did you see me expose the racist from Newcastle? Did you, you know, did you see me exposing a way that people are grooming children on Roblox? No, no you didn't. And what's quite funny is we all know I was mass reported and we all know that that was done by followers of Sasha Fontaine. I mean, it would be really random if it happened uh, at any other time frame. Um, and the reason, I mean, I've had emails backwards and forwards with TikTok. I know what's going on. And so do they. And so do they. Um, if you think I'm not stupid enough to back up stuff um, with screenshots and all sorts of different things like that, you know, as in showing my violation history. Do you not think TikTok find it very strange when all of a sudden videos that have been on my profile for months are suddenly all reported one by one? Not very smart. Maybe you should have watched some of the videos you were taking down in this mass reporting. Videos exposing trolls, bullies, people who you don't like, and apparently Sasha doesn't like. It's very interesting, that. Somebody, try and resolve them face to face, or resolve them on a... I did not want to resolve her face to face at all. I did a reaction video about Sasha. It is literally in the deep dive that you claim to have watched, even though you know nothing, judging by the statements you made. Uh, I made a reaction video to Sasha. I had no idea who she was. I laughed at her because the video made her sound like a liar. I did not directly call her a liar. And Sasha Fontaine jumped in my comments and hammered me, went on a live, screamed to mass report me. Everybody mass report the fact freak. Uh, after a video that was literally less than a minute long. Oh, classy. Also, let's not forget that one of the threats she made directly to me, the first contact she made with me, was threatening the police. Now, as soon as somebody threatens the police, I don't know about you, Sam, but I take that very seriously, especially with my experience in law enforcement. So, basically... I told Sasha that she had to get in touch with me with a crime reference number and I wanted no further contact. After somebody has threatened somebody over something so minuscule, I have no want nor desire to be face to face with somebody like that. One to one basis. Don't hide behind fake profiles. And oh, why? Is it, is it a little bit more difficult to, to track me down? I've already gone over this earlier in the video. I don't think it is wise for anybody to share personal information 
on the internet, on social media. This is something that I'm very passionate about, something I try to educate people about, and I'm not going to sit and educate people on that and not do it myself. Fake names and start... No, no, I was called a freak. I was called a freak a lot in, as a kid, um, which is why I decided to claim the name. And I do fact, fact freak. It's, it's almost like a brand. Doesn't your friend Sasha have a brand? Like, what, what are you talking about? Same. I want to know where they live. I'll find out where they work. Oh. Right, now this is interesting. Because it makes her sound like... I mean, she sounds there like she's talking about me, but I've never said any of these things. I know this, I know that, I know the friend. Well, I have said I know this and I know that, because I do. Friends. Oh yeah, I've watched them on Facebook. They've got a lovely Facebook profile. I've never said anything like this. Where are you getting your information from? You clearly haven't watched the deep dive. It couldn't be more obvious that you have been reported to by somebody and they have told you <laughs> bullshit. What are you doing? What are you actually I'm exposing somebody for who they really are. Actually doing. Because it's not big, it's not clever. It is actually quite clever. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to blow my own trumpet here. It is actually quite clever. I mean, you're already frustrated because you don't know who I am. And I don't sit on a sofa all day. Why the fuck are you bringing and the sofa up again? And my trying to make a business. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about your fucking sofa pet. She's trying to go about her life normal. Yes, yes, she's trying to go about her life normal by sitting on live screaming at people, wishing harm on them. Uh, yeah, she is. She's going about life exactly normally. Pass me that glass, Frank. Oh, oh my gosh. But no, you took one little thing. I didn't take one little thing. You have not watched the deep dive. Once again, you are so... You're making yourself sound so stupid. It's unbelievable. You have not watched the deep dive. There is more than one thing that is exposed and broken down. There is not one statement in that deep dive that isn't immediately backed up with a fact. And dragged loads of people into it. Who did I drag in? The nearly 3,000 people who've watched the video. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I feel really sorry for you and I hope... Don't, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm really good. I'm having a great time. Uh, now that I'm basically just chilling, and I've got a lot more spare time on my hand because of everybody's interfering with TikTok and bully boy tactics, you know, the bullying you're against. Um, I've got a lot more free time on my hands. Um, yeah, deep dive part two coming sooner than it was going to be, so thank you. I hope you've got no children or grandchildren that have to go through this. Grandchildren? Fuck me. I don't know if she's talking, like, because, she see, she hasn't really phrased the video very well. I think she's just gone on to a rant at the end, and she's talking about all sorts of different people, like tattle people, people in Sasha's comments, me. It's very mixed up here, but I'm going to assume, because she was directly referencing me by name, and it hasn't then changed it to somebody else that she's talking about me. Grandchildren, that's possibly the most offensive thing you've said in the video so far. Um... <laughs> But no, I do have children. I want you to know I do have children. I have two children who live with me full time and I'm a single dad. It's via social media because it causes a lot of suicide. Ah, you're worried about my children, my family and social media. Well, guess what? They're brought up by a dad who knows not to put their real name on social media. Jesus. Right. So just be careful what you... I want to go back over that bit because I think I just clipped I it. I feel really sorry for you and I hope you've got no children or grandchildren that have to go through this via social media because it causes a lot of suicide. So just... Yeah, I 100% agree. I 100% agree that bullying causes suicide. I don't believe, you know, and also sometimes exposing people with facts, um, you know, does, does cause things like this. However... Is that a threat to be quiet? I, I, it sounds like emotional manipulation to me, coercive control. At the end of the day, um, if Sasha Fontaine or anybody, including yourself, Sam, you know, you've mentioned your sofa so many times, I'm wondering whether you're triggered yourself, whether maybe mentally it's not good for you to be on the app, for example, then I would suggest taking time off the app. I would also suggest 
looking for help. You know, there's a lot of good mind charities in the UK, for example. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Um, somebody reacting to me or responding to me without watching the video. I mean, it's clearly obvious she didn't watch the video because she had no idea what the hell she was talking about. Anyway, this is the Fact Freak and keep your diary free for Saturday, 8.30pm. Let's, let's go diving again. Peace. Make sure you are following the Fact Freak on Instagram for updates so you'll know when you can hit that reminder button for the premiere. Catch you later.